Okay, given a quadratic function, our goal is to find the vertex and then put it into the standard form or vertex form. So it starts in general form. To find the vertex, it's nice to know this nice formula that h is going to be negative b over 2a. Um, so how we locate a and b, a is going to be our first value here, b and c. Um, just like ax squared plus bx plus c, like the quadratic formula, same sort of idea. So in our case, b is going to be negative 6. So we have the negative of negative 6 over 2 times our a value is going to be 2. So this makes positive 6 over 4, or 3 halves. Improper fractions are just fine. All right, so we now have our x value for our vertex, 3 halves. We need a y value to go with this. All right, so our y value, um, or sometimes we refer to that as being k, the easiest way to get this is to plug it back into the function. So we know an x value. If we plug it back into the function, we'll get a y value that goes with that. So I'm just replacing each of the x's on the right-hand side of our given function with 3 halves. All right, now we're going to deal with some fractions, but that's going to be okay. Um, first thing I would do is I'm getting going on this is I would bring the two along and then think to myself, three halves multiplied by three halves. So you go three times three makes nine over two times two is going to make four minus, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and think of this as six over one. So we get negative 18 over two. Sorry, that's positive 18 over two and we'll bring down the plus seven. With a little bit of simplifying down here, I'm visualizing this as two over one. So I have a two in the numerator and a four in the denominator that will reduce down to nine over two minus 18 over two. Plus I would like to have this with that common denominator of two as well. But that plus seven, we're gonna have to think multiply numerator and denominator both by two, like multiplying by one. And that's gonna create 14 halves, which is the same thing as seven. All right, now we can just go ahead and combine our numerators together and keep that common denominator. So nine minus 18, we're at negative nine, plus 14 is gonna make positive five. So five halves is gonna be our y value for the vertex. The last thing we need to do is get this into standard form. So how I like to do standard form is we'll write this as f of x equals, we've moved our vertex, it's gone to the right three halves, so we're gonna attach a number in directly to x, three halves, but just move to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and say a minus three halves. This is kind of counterintuitive to how you think it should be, but to the, move to the right, you attach a number directly to x and you subtract. And then we also have moved everything up positive five halves because the x squared graph that normally starts at, um, with the vertex at the origin as zero, zero. So we move the vertex to the right and up the last thing we need to do is we need to get some sort of stretch or compression that we may have out in front. So where we want to look for that is it's the exact same value as our a value here, which we had identified earlier as being two. Um, so we'll go ahead and multiply by two out in front as being a stretch by a factor of two. And there we have our quadratic function in standard form or vertex form. Hope this helps out as you uh, go from general form to standard form and locating the vertex and rewriting them. Good luck.